Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to my lovely GC Doom tutorials. And this tutorial, okay, there we go, sorry about that, I accidentally turned off, I, sorry about that, I accidentally turned off the display capture, but it's cool, we're back, I hit space again, everything came back, it's all good. Um, and this tutorial, we're going to talk about sector lighting, so what you want to do is hit S, or you can go over here, and you can select the sector mode. And uh, for those of you that are just hopping in and are new, you can hold space, pan around. And we're just going to right-click our sector, and then we'll go to Colors. And I briefly mentioned this in the last tutorial and what this does. So the global sector color, uh, it basically, for the light, it, if you ever played the PlayStation version of Doom, kind of like that, uh, you know, it allows you to assign specific colors to a sector, and it is independent of the brightness. So, like, you know, sectors are bright white. So, you know, all the all the color is derived from the brightness and, of course, the texture. Uh, and, you know, once you start changing the light color, you know, you start mixing it in. And we'll take a look at what that looks like in a second. The Doom 64 light colors, as mentioned, you know, it's from the N64 version of Doom, or at least like anyway. And it allows you to assign different colors for the ceiling, the upper wall, the things, which are entities, you know, like the players, weapons, uh, various sprites and other stuff that you have in the game, monsters and so on. And then, of course, the lower wall and the floor. And then there's the ceiling glow and the floor glow, which basically do the same thing, except one's for the ceiling and one's for the floor. And we're going to, you know, take a look at that in a second. But let's take a look at the global sector color and let's actually select all of these here and then we'll right click and then we'll go to light and i'm actually going to select this right here and then hit okay just one of the pre-made values and then hit okay again and then i'll hit q to go into the uh, 3d view and as you can see you know it's 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 blue and you know it's blending and mixing in with the texture colors and all that good stuff which is, uh, yeah, pretty darn cool. And you can see the contrast like I was talking about in the last video. Like, it's it's quite sharp and quite noticeable. Um, but this is a nice way to add a bit of extra, you know, lighting to your world. Now, I believe you can actually control this through the um, scripting language. So, like, you can change the sector color through the scripting language, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure, but I am still looking into that. Uh Anyway, so the next thing we're going to take a look at is the Doom 64 light colors, which I kind of want to get, you know, I kind of want to be able to see a little bit of everything from over here. Okay, so just right click, make sure you're right clicking on the floor there. And then we're just going to make this room like a weirdish red. So I think for the ceiling, because like, where do we want the light to come from? Uh, so I think for the ceiling, I'm going to use this color. Uh sorry this color and then for the upper wall i think i'm going to use this color and for the lower wall i'm going to use this one this is black by the or no that's black you don't really want to use that one i like that one because it blends nicely together the uh this middle one here doesn't really i mean it kind of blends but it's a little too close whereas this one's a little different so you notice the shift and then for the things I guess I'll use the the middle color and then for the floor, <laughs> I will just use the same color that I used for the lower wall. And now we will hit OK. And you can see, you know, it's all kind of like you can still see like the textures there, but, you know, it's it's kind of blending it out. And so if we actually launch it, it's a little easier to tell. And yes, I did. I fixed I fixed GZ Doom. I, I downloaded a dev build and life got much better. So you can see that, you know, our entities are blending in, but we could also make them, you know, not blend in if we wanted to. And then when we go into here, you know, it blends back. And then, of course, if we go into this room, you know, we got like a bluish tint. I actually quite like this blue, by the way. It's uh, this actually looks pretty nice. Give me ideas for some stuff. And we can pick this up, but, you know, no, there's no real need to. Um... And yes, so that's, I mean, that's like I said, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can use that to a great effect and you can mix it, you know, with the brightness to get like different colored shadows and all sorts of other stuff. And you can do this all without, you know, jumping over to using the per pixel dynamic lights. But 
the next thing that I want to talk about is the glow. So we have this, um, you know, lovely little hallway here. And what I want to do is I want to put like nuclear waste on either side and then, you know, have it just look, you know, really cool, right? Like you're going in and it's got glow coming off off the nuclear waste. And, you know, that's that's the idea. That's the principle here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit L to go into line draw mode. I'm going to right click and then I'm just going to drag down. And I'm going to keep going. Okay, I I need to redo this map off camera so that everything is like, you know, or, or just like, you know, shift it all like proper because, yeah, it's a little off. But uh, I can fix it off camera. It's not a big deal. And then I'm just going to do control shift D. And I'm going to zoom in here. And I only want it to be 32 across. And the reason we're doing this is because I want this sector here to basically be a wall. Um, and because, you know, if you were to just, for example, if you were to just do control shift D and then, you know, drag it out like this, and then we go in the 3D view, you know, you kind of just have this thing that's just there. I mean, you, you know, depending on what you're doing, it might be what you want, uh, but not what we want. So then we're going to hit control shift D again. And this is just the rectangle uh, mode. It's over here. And I think I'll go out 96 because I want some fairly decent sized uh, nuclear waste to walk into. And once again, we'll just go out 96. And we'll just keep panning and going up. Awesome. And now we'll hit Q. And we'll select both floors, although you can't just hover over. And we want to set the floor down to, I'd say, negative 16. You can see it down there in the bottom left as it changes. That's where you tell where like your height and all is. And we're going to right click since we already have the floors selected. And we're going to go to surfaces and then the floor. And then we're going to type in nuke. Actually, just nuke because it's nukage. And we're going to select the first one. The first one's fine, but you know, y'all pick whichever one you want. And now what we're going to do is we are going to pick uh, a floor glow. And I'm thinking we need like a sort of vibrant green. So let's select that and then let's kind of drag it up. And 32 seems pretty good. You know, like it's got a bit of glow, but it's not too much glow. I don't know though, 48 looks pretty good, but you can kind of see where it's, you know, it, it blends in an interesting manner. Um, and then for the light color, uh, let's see, let's try that. Uh, that's a little too harsh. So I'm actually going to drag that down just a little bit. There we go. I think that might do. Will that do? What's it okay? Let's kind of move away from it and see. That will do, I believe. And now we're going to select our walls here. And we will go into the front wall. And once again, we're just going to type nukage and there's a couple different walls that we can actually grab i'm gonna just try a couple that one tells too much i knew that one was gonna tell too much um not not what i want oh uh, let's try this one. Oh boy i mean one way to fix that is to lower the ceiling height um but i don't really want that so i think for now i will just use this one. Oh. Okay. Well, there is an easier fix to this, honestly. I am going to leave it to that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the... Actually, drag it. Hang on. No, realigning the textures didn't work. All right. I mean, I could affect the texture scale, but... I don't really know if I want to really mess with that. I mean, that works. So it's not exactly perfect. And it is kind of like messing with it a little bit. But it doesn't look that bad. So same as before, the middle one. Oh, and then just, you know, drag it down. And now the thing that I need to do is I need to get the these hallway pieces all switched over. And we'll strike it down. Awesome. 
Okay, so now that we have that, let's work on this middle floor here. I'm going to just quickly switch out to deselect. And I'm going to change the floor. Now, we do need some kind of floor. But what? What kind of floor should we use? I think I'll use this one. That one seems to... That one seems to kind of work. All right. Now, wait. Now, I'm going to go back into the color here. I'm actually going to hop over to the other floor. All right. Probably help if I deselect the other floor, though. I'm going to copy this value. And then I'm going to paste it in. Nope. There we go. I'm going to paste it in here, but I'm actually going to make it a little lighter because I don't want it to um, affect it as much as the other. But you can see it's a little green. It may actually need to, to blend a little bit more there. Try that. Yeah. Set it back really quick. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're also going to, uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna correct this really quick. And then hit okay. And go over here. Okay, just wanted to make sure that that was set properly. And then, like mentioned before, you can see the glow. And we're just going to play so we can actually see what it looks like, you know, once we're in the game. And then let's just zip on over here. I went on ahead and started moving straight away. I like this. So this is a nukage zone, and you can see that we have a bit of glow. When we come in here, it's a little bit green. It probably needs to be, you know, a little harsher. But you can see that it definitely does have some glow to it. And, uh, yeah. And as before, you know, you could also make it so it comes out of the ceiling very easily. So, you know, just, just copy this on over. And then you could just have it drag right on down. Well, I kind of like that. I like the way that, uh, that blended there. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, you kind of know how to, you know, do the sectors and their different colors. And, you know, like with anything, just play with it. It's not really that complicated. Most of it is just playing around with it and figuring out what works best, you know. Another thing that you could do and something you should do is you should have the light. You should go through and modify this so that, like, the green is pushing into this room. Um... And what we're going to do is in the next room or the next series of room, uh, we're actually going to build a 3D floor and we're going to use the exact same thing we did in this room. And I'll pre-build part of it. Uh, so that'll be the next, you know, bit of assignment there. You know, build a room where we can have a 3D floor and a 3D floor is basically a floor that's floating, which is not something you can do in the original Doom engine. Um, so... We'll probably, I don't know if I'll build it off camera, but we'll probably build one really, really quick. But if you want, you can go ahead and build one. And then in an upcoming video, I will cover uh, 3D floor. And they're very, very cool. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.